सो सात दिन मोहब्बत है हो सकती है नहीं हो सकती हाँ हो सकती है हो सकती है कभी हुई है शायद अच्छा मुझे तो नहीं तुम्हें नहीं हुई नहीं सात सात हाँ सात दिन में ना हो महीने में हो जाए बस हाँ महीने में तो सौ दफा होती है So the first thing I'm going to do is I love playing this game and it's a lot of fun. Okay. So we're going to do it's called two truths, one lie. So how two truths, one lie works is that I'm going to be giving out three statements. Two of them are true, one is a lie, and Mira will have to pick out which one about me is a lie. Okay. And the same I'll be doing with you, and you will be doing the same with me. Got it. So we're going to play two rounds. So obviously it's my show, and like you know, I am like so cool, so I'm going to go first. Do it. Like don't even. Yeah, I'm letting our guests go first. Mm. So I once hired an uh, an accent coach. I walked a block with Matt Bomber in New York, right? And I got straight A's in my interviews. Obvious red flag. The lie is that you hired an accent coach. Um, and then the other two are the truths that you walked with that dude, and that you got straight A's. Those are the truths. Those are the truths. Yeah. I actually did hire an accent coach for a play in college. <laughs> Wow, well, that and I actually didn't get straight A's in my <laughs> own A levels. <laughs> I found, I think I got, that I was a little I like I think I got three yeah. B's or something like that. That I was like, wow, Momina, that's amazing. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I once did 120, 192 squats in two minutes. Okay. Um, I once asked Matthew Perry for a selfie in New York, and he was not happy and was very rude to me. I can speak fluent Spanish. Spanish. I want to say because I know you speak fluent Punjabi and I know you speak fluent Urdu. Mm -hmm. I think Spanish fluency. You probably speak Spanish, but I don't think you're fluent in Spanish. Okay. So that's the. Yeah, that's yes, me. you're right. Right. Yes. And Matthew Perry was very. But I speak English. a little Spanish myself. Oh, you do. Yeah. I don't actually speak Spanish at all. I speak okay. French. Mi español es muy terrible. Très bien. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, bueno. <laughs> My second one. Okay. I want set. Uh, the fire alarm off at two in the morning while making popcorn. Okay. I have interviewed Om Puri, mm -hmm. and I prefer to cut my own nails. But you prefer to cut your own nails? I that is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Yes. Okay. It's a lie. Good. I could just put that. Look at them. They're perfectly manicured nails. You see that? Like that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now it's time for your second one. Okay. So two truths and a lie. So um, number one, I've never cried on set. Mm. Number two, I made Thai green curry for my mother's birthday, and number three, my male co-star once told me to suck in my stomach while I was wearing a crop top. You work in Pakistani TV, so obviously, sorry, or the routine that you have, so Roya, so I'm sure you have on set. Uh, I think you didn't make Thai curry, Roya. Why would you think so? Because I don't know. Actually, no, 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 no. I changed my answer. You have a perfect body. If anybody has told you to suck this, your stomach, you <laughs> should probably like go and jump out of this window. So that's actually true. Um, and then I, you, you were right. I have not, not indeed right. made Damn it, I had Thai green curry for my mother. Ek din ami bana dungi aapke liye. What's the biggest misconception that people have about you? There are several probably. I'll have to think about them. Um, I think one is that I get asked this a lot, and so it's probably on everyone's mind. One is that because, as you also said in your introduction, I worked at the Wall Street Journal. I went to Oxford and Wellesley. Mm. People think that if you're educated, you can't be frivolous or have you fun. Can't. Yeah, yeah. There's just this sense that you're serious. Serious. Hai. Or serious to hobby sakte hain, lekin aapki dusri side bhi to hoti hai. What's the most interesting aspect about your role that attracted you the most to in uh, Saath Din Mohammed? That's a very good question. I loved the fact you said early on today that I speak fluent Punjabi, but I had I had to speak a very different kind of Punjabi for this role. What kind of Punjabi? Well, I had to be an immigrant British girl. Okay. So, उनकी एक बड़ी particular Punjabi होती है, you know. Um, so you know, like it's like Mum, it's that day. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Where are you going? And no, he's ugly. He's ugly. Like Kasmala, Kasmala. There you go. That as opposed to ham sadi jadi asra di di ye badi sadi sadi di. The only si, thodi mukhtalif si. And then I also had to do a British accent, which was kind of um, not quite Bradford Pakistan, but I had to mainstream More. it a little bit. So that I love that in the in the comedy aspect of it. Yeah. And it's the first romantic comedy film that's been made, right? In Pakistan, sure. like, it's the first one that's even being. Uh, Put out there that oh, it's a romantic comedy. Like, like you know, like there either romantic films are coming out or they're like dramas or thrillers or an action mm -hmm. film. But romantic comedy, like being even portrayed, it's the first one. Probably, and this and Satin Mohabbatin is very nostalgic also because there's a gin in it. Yeah, and there are three. I'm, 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 what I'm scared about yeah. in this 
in the entire film is a, I feel that like the gin part is going to look a little gimmicky just because of the graphics just because the technology so that we have you actually the graphics are pretty incredible Incre- okay. from what glimpses I've seen and from what I've heard okay um, on movie yeah no I'm really excited to watch it I'll yeah. be there okay. I'm, I'm going actually as to date oh. yeah I know I asked him to you know I asked him out as a so now he'll have four three yeah, women yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. four women That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was your most cherishable moment during uh, filming Saath Dil Mohabbat Dil? I I have a favorite moment, which is um, when Sherry and I, towards the end of the film, go to a hotel where he's taking me. But it's a comedy of errors, so you never really know the intentionality of the characters oh, yeah. as things are going along. And he takes me to the hotel, and we we go to the sort of front desk, and there I introduce myself and him as a kind of Mr. and Mrs. And it's hilarious because there's a lot of kind of situational comedy in that. That okay. was my favorite moment. Okay. Because it, it's light, and it's like Sherry doesn't know what's going on, and the audience doesn't know what's going on, but I do. My I character do. does. Okay. And so you'll see it, and then you'll remember that that's my favorite. Moment. I know. What's the one thing um, that you can't do when it comes to acting? That I can't do. I Or can't. Or you don't want to do. I can't shed tears on demand. That's often very hard for me. So there are all, almost all our serious drama actresses yeah. can shed tears at the drama. Yeah. For me, I need to go into a particular space. I don't like putting glycerin in my eyes because it's bad, bad for you. For you. Um, although when they don't come, so then I have to kind of force them out. But this has been a challenge for me, and actually, should I give you a tip for this? Yeah. I actually learned this in college. Yeah. If you actually have to go into that moment, yeah. right? And you, you're not feeling the uh-huh. moment, like, and a lot of times you don't. Mm. You just stare, keep your eyes steady, and you just stare at a spot, right? Mm. And your eyes will immediately oh, glaze up. Glaze up, interesting. They'll glaze up immediately, so you'll get that look, the bha bha rona, but yeah. you will get that. But you'll get you that. will get the flushness in your face, and you'll get like your eyes will glaze up with tears. But I'll try it. One thing you would tell your high school self? Um, be more patient for one, because. Life has different things, not in store for you. I don't really believe in fate, but kind of um, life. You do what you do at a certain moment because that's when you're ready for ready it. For so it, I, yeah. so, so that. But at the same time, I would tell myself to be a little more proactive. I'm, I'm kind of, I do my work, but I don't really push myself as mm. much as in this industry. You really, really? have to be. I, like for lack of a better word, aggressive yeah. actually, and I think yeah, I have suffered on account of kind of being a little timid about what I want. And so I tell my not my high school self that, but I tell early actress Meera that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, what's your favorite romantic comedy film of all times? I, I don't think it's a romantic comedy, but I love Pretty Woman. Yeah, it's not I a comedy, it. but it's but just it's, such a beautiful film. It you is know? A beautiful. It's, film. it's a genuinely romantic drama. Yeah. Um, and I when I was a, when I was a teenager, I loved my best friend's wedding. Yeah, that was my favorite. I really loved it. You know, I loved, loved it. it. Was my, one of my, it, it. I think it, it still is one of my most favorite films. Absolutely, I'm not the kind of person who watches a film ten times. I at best watch something three times, and yeah. I'll be done with it. I mean, Dil Wale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. I've seen three times, and it was enough for me. And yeah. I love that film. Yeah. Or my best friend's wedding. Well, yeah. Okay, so no, I'm done sort of talking about myself. Let me ask you a few questions. ियो Depending on my mood, but I'm not the type of person who will sit at home and be like, "Okay, now I'm relaxed." Or like, I guess I meant the like the larger social scene, the kind of the. the It's toxic. It can get toxic. Hmm. You need to be very careful, and I think over. And I'm a very open person. Yeah. Like generally, my personality is very open. So in that manner, I feel like I've suffered hmm. uh, being very honest about who I am and what I am and, and what I stand for. Cool. You went to F and M, Franklin yeah. and Marshall, which is a is, did I get that right? Yeah. A college in the U S. What was your biggest takeaway from there? That from a liberal arts education, I guess, is my. It's question. like you can pretty much do anything with your college degree. I think that the best thing that it taught me was that take whatever life gives you yeah, because it will give you something amazing, yeah. and you have to make it work. And you have to make it work, and you have to grab sort of grab things the when they come. Yeah. That's what I was sort of getting at yeah. earlier. It's very yeah. important. It's very important. Yeah. So you left f- fashion journalism. I mean, you haven't quite left it because this is just another medium. Medium, yeah. Thing. But you think that we live in a visual age? Do you think writing is becoming a little redundant? 
sad here it is even though i love writing oh that's so depressing i, I love, love writing, writing. i love writing and i like really enjoyed writing